Hello colleagues! This video is dedicated to the new features of latest release of our software SmartPTT 8.8. .8. Here is a few words about what is a SmartPTT software. SmartPTT is a highly customizable application and comes in several variants that provide different set of functionalities for different systems. Interface with radio system can be done via control stations or via IP connection to motor turbo repeaters. Dispatcher software gives opportunity to control and log the flow of data and voice in radio network, request location of subscribers, and monitor the state of repeaters. Also, SmartPTT gives a set of software tools such as web client and a file transfer software which increase radio network usability and functionality. SmartPT has functionality that allows it to connect to PBX and gives subscribers the ability to use PBX interconnection from radio network as well. The main topic today is the ability to connect to control stations remotely via RG1000. Changes in the user interface and changes in user experience. First of all, short statement but important news. SmartPTT 8.8 .8 is fully compatible with MotoTurbo version 2.5 firmware for radios and repeaters. Next one. We are proud to present you a new development step of Elcom Plus company, SmartPTT RG1000 Remote Gateway Device. This is a small hardware solution which allows us to connect control station to radio server over Ethernet, eliminating the need to have radio server at the same site as a control station. RG1000 provides data and voice connection to control station and opens up new possibilities for building more varied and flexible systems. The impact it has on the system can be split in two parts. First one is that it makes configuration and deployment of the system easier because of lower radio interference with geographically distributed control stations, less time required for the radio system deployment, and that this device can operate in harsh environments. The second good effect is cost reduction because Less, re less radio servers required, no expensive sound cards for the radio servers are required, and uh, the low cost maintenance of this system. So this is our new product. Here go some changes made to coverage map functionality interface. New options allow you to draw a coverage map for category of subscribers. Imagine creating a separate categories for mobile and portable subscribers, UHF and VHF ones, and for subscribers with different antennas. Later, you will be able to draw a coverage map for those categories without having to select all subscribers manually. In case you need to select subscribers manually, some good news for you too. Now, the selection mechanism is based on checkboxes, which means you are no longer bound to hold control key for the time of selection process and no longer risk losing the selection with one wrong click. Grid sizes for coverage maps were redefined and now there are 12 different grid sizes starting from 10 meters up to 30 kilometers. Try and pick your favorite. Another interesting and useful option is available for analog systems now. We have implemented a hang time counter for analog systems. It means that analog calls will no longer be recorded as a separate file for each transmission, but they will instead be grouped into one call based on the same logic as used by digital systems. So you will be able to listen for all conversations in a call in a single file. It works like this. Whenever a subscriber starts an analog call, dispatcher can see this. When the call ends, dispatcher keeps on recording instead of instantly dropping the record. If any other subscriber will be so fast to start transmission during set hang time period, the record keeps going on. When the hang time finally expires, the record is stopped and finally goes to storage. This way, we will be able to see all records logically grouped into conversations. Some other user interface changes include shorter monitoring view legend with clarified color scheme for better look and easier understanding. The maximum length of text message from dispatcher to radio was significantly extended and will arrive to radio as a series of messages. Double clicking a subscriber on the map now opens a call window, so you will be able to call subscriber directly from a map. Location system settings were split into halves. One half is related to maps themselves and the other takes care of location data handling. Also, we have added window control buttons to the header of smart PTT windows. Now it is a lot easier to maximize your map on a separate screen, minimize unneeded window or restore the default size of window before maximization. 
The panel's family got a new member. The new panel is called Channels and contains elements which allow you to control different channels of your radio system all in one place in a convenient way. See ongoing calls for each conventional or trunking channel, make outgoing calls to specific groups or channel-wide with all call, mute and unmute a whole channel all from one panel. For those of you who have been working with mobile client, now the mobile client login and password management is easier and is located within Smart PTT Radio Server Configurator. You can create all mobile users at ease and track them in a nearby tab listing all active users connected to the system. The option to save and load user interface layouts is now extended with two default configurations preloaded for you. Those include basic configuration for calls overview plus event lock and the same with addition of channels panel. The custom consoles got a bunch of new options. This include wallpaper image for console, image element for consoles for overlaying images, multi-select element allowing for multiple selection of subscribers and groups on the go. This will allow you to have the button to conveniently call multiple separate subscribers or groups at the same time whenever you need it. Automatically resizing fonts and icons for elements. Now you can make buttons bigger or smaller than default without losing the information from the button. So feel free to set a comfortable wallpaper as a background and use pictures to logically group and mark elements on the console. With the development progress, some features are omitted, getting old or replaced with new ones. In 8.8 release, we have reorganized the management of private calls uh, and all controls for private calls flow are now replaced with a single checkbox in radio server profiles, which will either allow dispatcher to hear all private calls or not. You can get more information about SmartPTT software on our website, 3w.smartptt.com. Make sure to visit our technical support portal at support.smartptt.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive notifications about new videos about SmartPTT. Follow us on Facebook for all the latest news. This concludes our video for new features of 8.8 .8 release. Thanks everyone for watching, stay tuned for upcoming webinar invitations and new videos. Have a nice day and goodbye.